What's up, Culture Drop? I am Galen. Today's topic, we're talking about why do incompetent leaders get promoted inside organizations and continue to be promoted inside organizations? Gather around, children. It's time for story time. What have we got today? Ah, yes, a story in the workplace that's as common as a penny. It's the employee with a terrible boss. Once upon a time, there was an employee that had a terrible boss. They didn't like them, they were afraid of them. Uh, it was a really toxic work environment. The other employees in the department, a small department of about seven or eight people, were also all afraid and didn't like this boss. Different people were looking for different jobs at different times. Uh, it was a really toxic environment. The leader would talk bad about other employees and collude and uh, retaliate against people, had clear favorites, um, and it was a really hostile and terrible situation. This employee was looking for other jobs actively on a regular basis just to see if anything else came up because they couldn't stand their boss or how they led them. One time, an employee did go to HR and report some of the behavior of the boss, but nothing happened. And as a result of that, all the other employees were afraid to go tell HR because they were afraid that the boss would find out or that they would be retaliated against. Also, they believed that nothing would happen as a result. All the employees in the department had thought about coming together and writing a letter together to report to the higher up leadership about the terrible behavior and performance of this boss. But they were too afraid to do that because they thought they would be retaliated against. So nothing happened. Good news on the horizon. Uh, one day the employee found out that their boss was in line for a promotion and gonna move even higher up into the organization, even though they were terrible. So they stopped looking around for other jobs, thinking, ah, I can sit this out for two or three months, uh, and then once this leader gets promoted to somewhere else, they'll be out of my hair and I'll go back to like not hating my job every day. And yes, the leader did get promoted in the organization because the organization had no idea how terrible they were because they never asked for feedback from their team and they didn't consider feedback from the team as a way to like choose whether or not to promote that leader. So the employee got a new boss who was kind and who they liked, who was a great leader and they ended up liking their job again and stopped looking for other jobs. Great news. Meanwhile, the leader who was terrible is now in charge of other teams and even higher up uh, important, more senior role in the organization. What a damn shame. How common. And this, kids, is one way that terrible leaders get promoted and continue to move up inside organizations. What a lovely story. I hope you enjoyed story time. Anything in there sound familiar? Yes. In organizations, this is what happens all the time. People get promoted that are not great leaders because organizations are not asking for feedback from employees about their leaders. Um, people are either afraid to tell the truth um, and get retaliated against, uh, or they don't think anything can, can change because organizations are not being intentional about making sure that leaders are exceptional. And the people that you promote and put into leadership positions and continue to move up in the organization are phenomenal. And one easy way to prevent that is to ask for feedback. This is true. There is no shitty leader in the world whose team loves them. There is no great leader in the universe whose team hates them. These things do not exist in the same way. Uh, and you can't do it once a year on a consistent, regular basis. You have to go to employees and say, how do you think about your boss? How are they performing? How could they be better? And also like, do you feel comfortable giving honest feedback in this survey about your boss? And like, answer, ask those questions and find out. This is one way to avoid uh, leaders who are on their best behavior with the leadership team and have no idea that they are very toxic and then their team, it doesn't like them. You are losing great employees uh, by continuing to promote and not being able to identify as an organization leaders who are terrible. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we have our weekly email list, The Culture Drop. You can subscribe to that and get these emails right in your inbox. Follow our social media channels. Uh, put out a lot of free content around being more awesome and building great teams.